Sorry. You see the, the panaki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astroblepids? Astroblepids, yeah. yeah. Archetostoma, because the water stone. Uh -huh. Anastomids, you can see the... A lot of caves with, with current. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about this tank? Well, I never went to a place with so huge tanks like this. Uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. So I have a lot of power, a lot of flowing. And you have huge tanks there, and then uh, even a uh, rapid here. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. When I see a tank like this, because they're so rare, very few people try to recreate a rapids like this in an enclosed setting. And I just think of how many fish you can keep in this that you can't keep in these other kind of yeah. tanks. So like astroblepids, uh, fishes from the, the the high altitudes in the Andes. Um, that need a lot of oxygenation, a lot of flow. I mean, you could really observe and, and keep uh, a lot of those species in this tank beautifully. Yeah, imagine the anastomids. Anastomids. So Neptolemus here. Right, right. Flipperinos. And you see, it's just like you were in, in the, the Shingo or Tapajos diving. You can, you can see all the, Everything. the bubbles. Everything. Everything. Some of these fishes might only breed under these conditions. So, uh, so, so to observe behaviors of fishes that, that might use some of these habitats, these microhabitats to breed, this is, this is truly unique.